Hey, welcome back to another edition of Field Talk Fridays. I'm standing in a field of wheat this week, and the question of the week is, do we need to worry about spraying the flag leaf of our cereals? A few things to consider. When we're doing a flag leaf, typically we want to keep, you know, we're going targeting leaf diseases. Uh, in the Red River Valley, we're almost guaranteed we want to have to spray a fusarium headlight application because that means that there's something there to protect. That means that the crop is looking really good, and that means that we've got moist conditions that are you know helping feed that plant helping it thrive if i had my choice between the two oftentimes because the flag but you know from flag leaf to fusarium head blight timing generally might be 14 days to 21 days something like that like the two are very close back to back if i'm not seeing a lot of disease in the canopy and that could be lower down where like if we've got heavy cereals in the rotation that is something that I might, where I might consider a flag leaf application or if we have a variety that doesn't have very good leaf uh, disease resistance, that it's poorly rated, then that's another condition where we might consider doing a flag leaf application. But generally, we've been able to kind of watch the crop and hold off. Now, if we look at the weather over the next two weeks, the thing with fungicides is you always want to be applying it before the conditions or the diseases are there. Right now, our top inch or two is very dry and all of our soil moisture probes are indicating that in the top four inches, almost everywhere in the Red River Valley, we are permanent wilting point. So those are not uh, conditions that are conducive to creating a lot of leaf disease pressure in terms of a moist, humid environment. So they're talking the next couple of weeks, or at least this week going into the weekend, there's chance of rain on and off, not big chances, but kind of unsettled weather, at least to, to wrap up June the next two weeks. So we'll be watching that very closely, but then they're talking about possibility of a drier July. So as the things develop, you know, we'll make the call. But for now, we're telling, I think, a lot of our guys to sit tight, you know, keep a close eye on the wheat. If you have heavy cereals in the rotation, again, make sure that you're not seeing disease lower down in the canopy, that rainfall could splash up. A lot of the Fusarium Head Blight products that we use also have a very strong leaf disease package. So that's where that one, you get more bang for the buck. I hope you have found this very informative. If you like this content, please share and subscribe. Check us out on the rest of our socials. If you think it's something that we can do to help you, if you're farming in the Red River Valley, don't hesitate to reach out and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks again.